What is going on guys, Pro Designs here, and today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you the Twitch transition effect. So let's look at the quick preview, so what we're going to be learning today. That simple effect, it's very effective and really nice to add into your edits. It just looks really professional and it's a nice transition between cinematics, clips or whatever you want to use it for. So what you want to do first, I will delete that start fresh and obviously you want to bring in your uh, your clips or your cinematics um, press control I bring in your two footages uh, or you're doing it in between clips or whatever you guys are using then what you want to do is you want to go up to layer new and then put an adjustment layer then you want to go to your uh, effects and presets this is not a a default plugin but Google's your best friend just look on Google about Twitch I'm sure you know what I mean uh, add Twitch to the adjustment layer now what we want to do is zoom in just make things easier what we want to do is we want to go let's count two frames this is the way I do it. You can make the uh, the twitch last longer, but if you make it last too long, it looks a bit silly. Um, in fact, we'll go three frames, and then you want to uh, enable the uh, amount and speed. Then uh, go down to select blur and slide, and let's change the amount to about eighty, and leave this at five. Maybe even put it down to, up to six. Uh, then go back a keyframe. Then press U on your keyboard to bring up the uh, the keyframes. And then just change these to zero. Because obviously you don't want the Twitch throughout the whole thing. So then you want to go to your next footage. Go forward, we went three and then just click, click here add a keyframe and then go forward a frame and then put them to zero and zero so now if you scroll through it should have like a twitch effect between each clips so let's run preview that we press play See, it's a very nice professional transition. Makes it a lot more interesting than just the old, you know, blank transition. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you can play around with the uh, settings. You can enable, you know, color, light, scale, and time. But these are the, just the two that I use in my edits. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if this tutorial has helped you in any way, please give the video a thumbs up. And if there's any tutorials you guys want, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.